how's it going everybody welcome back to another pirates chess video hope you uh enjoyed the last couple videos that i've uh, made um yeah i realized in the last video i kept calling it a vnm um which i guess is what i was going for but because they didn't move um the uh e5 square it's uh, like a close sicilian weird so we'll try and actually get a, like a proper vienna sometime but uh, in the meantime, we're just going to hit up another game real quick, hopefully. Uh, so we're actually going to do... We're going to do a 15-minute game. We'll try and make this quick. Hopefully I get... Uh, wait. I want to actually do a proper Vienna. Most of the time, I feel like they you move E4, they move E5. Sometimes they... Um, it's like every time I do the King's Gambit, they always do that. But then it's like when I want to do something different, or they don't. So, I am black. Oh, I'm rated 1500 too. Oh, because it's rapid. Oh. It's a good thing it's casual. But it looks like he might time out. So, interesting. I forgot about that. 1500, he's probably like, yeah, no. Mm. He actually played. Um, that's interesting. Let's do uh, d5. It's kind of like a like a slav, I guess. I don't know. It'd be something like you would play against like a d4. <clears throat> so I don't know what the plan is here, Stan. But now we're attacking his knight. So that's a plan. That's an idea. What is this? What is this? This is weird. This is a weird structure. I guess maybe he wants to... Come down? With his knight? I don't know. Um... Uh, he was probably just moving his knight out of the way, I guess, because I was attacking. It's interesting. So we're going to move this pawn up. The idea is to push d5 and then... Um, Push d5 and then attack his knight. So that's just, I feel like, a wasted move. Let's see if he plays e4, stopping me. Oh, that's fine. It's kind of like. I don't mind if he takes my C-Pawn, because it's kind of like a King's Gambit. I'm used to being down a pawn. Yeah, so he moved his knight. Cool. I guess my, um... But we have this. So, knight to g6, with the tensions of bringing bishop up to attack the queen. Let's see what he does. I mean, he can just move a pawn down, but it kind of like rue, like messes up his structure. Probably does a move that he doesn't want to do. Hmm. I could also move queen. That's interesting stuff there. I can move queen to c7, which is like a. Uh, It'd be like a weird move, and then move bishop to uh, d6, threatening to take his rook, and just kind of move down the line, so I'd like sacrifice, uh, sacrifice my bishop to take his rook, if he takes. He might not take. Oh, but maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, 
He's taking a long time to think. Um, I know the computer engine is probably going to want me to move my C5 pawn up so it's not under attack. Um, but I am okay with that. Oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> that stops me from... It stops me from putting my bishop on d6. That's what that does. So, we'll do this. Silly, silly moves. And we'll just gambit into the pawn. Take all my pawns. Take them all. Take them all. This is better. I still got lots of time. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe I don't have to do classical now that I kind of have an understanding of what I'm doing. Like, maybe 15-minute games are probably better. Then I'm not sitting around. Because, like, sometimes you, know, you play, like, a 30-minute game and someone's, like, sitting there waiting forever. Which is not bad. But when it's, you know, like, 11.30 at night and you want to go to bed, that's a long wait. I guess the interesting thing is, so he could bring his queen back out, right? Attack my knight. Um, because I moved my my b pawn, which was defending it. Uh, and then I would have to, I guess, bring my white squared bishop back. Or I could move the queen, but then that just kind of like locks my queen in place, and it doesn't really help, especially if I need to move my my knight. He's not doing anything. Come out. He's gonna like time out. I like how he was. <laughs> Some people I don't understand. Like you take you take like an extra minute to think about something, and they're like, "Oh my god, hurry up! You're so slow." He's like, "Come on, man! You're so slow." Meanwhile, he's taking probably like four minutes right now on his turn. He's trying to figure out what to do. Oh man. King Rohan. King Rohan. I feel like somebody likes Lord of the Rings. I don't know. Hmm. So I open up this file for my rook. Ooh, super strong rook time. Yeah. So the goal is still going after his rook. That's the goal. Okay. So he threatens my knight with his rook. Sorry, he threatens his knight, my knight. He threatens my knight with his bishop, which is completely fine. Because I'm doing that. And little does he know. Little does he know. Oh, so you know what? Check check this out. If this if this if this works out. If this works out, I think it's mate. No, because I was thinking like his his king would have to move down, so I move my bishop up. But he can just move his pawn. So which blocks? <laughs> but I get a free queen after that. So 
We'll see. We'll see what happens here. He's taking an awful long time to think. Hmm. I think he's thinking about like moving his queen. Interesting. It's not really doing anything at the moment, so. We're gonna do this, and then I might castle to get my other rook out. Um, now that his queen's on the other side. Because I don't, uh, I don't know. Like, he's attacking my pawn, but that doesn't do anything because my knight guards it. My queen also guards it, too. So we'll see. We shall see. It makes me sad. I was, I was so excited for the Vienna. And it was not... It was not. Mm. I just like I don't want to hate on him for taking so long, but after his comment, <laughs> I'm just like, bro, bro, just hurry up, just hurry up. Um, what you gonna do, son? What you gonna do? Everything he has is kind of just like stuck. Like his dark squared bishop ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Either are his like rooks. I mean, unless he castles. If he castles. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. If he castles. If he, if he sees how to prevent this, so basically his best defense against this. Yeah, <laughs> he resigned. Oh man, yeah, he saw what was coming. His, um, I think really his only defense against this was uh, if, if he moves his, his, uh, well, I guess there's two ways, right? So he can move his, his F pawn to, uh, to f3 which gives his uh sorry not f3 um to f4 right so it it wouldn't be attacked it gives his king an escape and it blocks my bishop it's also guarded by his other pawn that or he moves his g pawn down one and then it's guarded by two other pawns so I'm surprised he resigned though. I mean, he had options, but that works for me. So, Ooh, another game done. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I think I played it fairly well. So, um, if you guys like it, subscribe. Keep coming back for more. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments, and I'll answer them. Cheers.